Hi, I'm Dario Salas Jr. You know, it's interesting to notice that David said I'd rather be in your house for uh, one day than a thousand outside of it. It is interesting because this is in Psalm 84, 10, and, it, and, and if you notice, it's David saying that. David was a very busy man. He was a, a guy who got to organize armies, who got to organize uh, the civil life of his people, um, manage money, uh, phew, he got so many things going on. He had a big family. He he got he had so many things. Yet he was inclined to go to the house of the Lord and to serve the Lord and to congregate and to and to and to go to the church and to stay there. However, today's uh, many people have the excuse of saying that we are very tired. I've been working too much, so I don't want to go to church today because of my schedule is so hard. I can't go to church, and they invented a lot of excuses. and And sometimes you get into into this dilemma if you got to go if you don't got to go to church because you're so tired and it's like the devil's telling you don't go to church stay at home and you and you and you feel like yeah, but if i don't go i don't, i don't, i won't get god's blessings in my life oh yes you will just stay home it's just one day you you're so tired right now you should see yourself in the mirror man you need to sleep <laughs> and you believe in that lie, and you stay at home. And once you stay at home, you really don't you you really don't uh, uh, rest. What you do is uh, you go into the computer and you stay until one or two o'clock on the computer, or you watch two or three movies. And the next day you are more tired than when you used to be. And, and now your work efficiency is going worse, you know, and worse and worse. And then you end up even losing your job. Because you let a door open uh, for disobedience to God, and you, instead of open the door to the Lord, you open the door for for a course in your life. And when you don't come to church, uh, you begin to out to course yourself because you are not obeying the God's word. When it says in in, in in Hebrews ten verse twenty five, it says that you should not. Uh, stop coming to church to, to congregate, to, to, to assist the church because uh, we know that the Lord is coming soon and not just that, we know that we will die one day and you know something, many people like to go to church when they are in big trouble this is so bad, it's like having a friend that is only coming to you when he needs a loan you know this kind of friend that only shows to you and he says, oh hello John uh, do you remember me? Um, I know I haven't seen you such a long time. It's so good to see you. By the way, do you have a hundred bucks to lend me? Come on, this kind of friend is not good. Don't you think? Now, do you want to be this kind of friend to Jesus? Uh, but, but, but Dario, you know why I don't go to church? So why? Well, because I don't go to church. Because church is, uh, is, uh, is full of hypocrites. It's full of people that are not good for anything. So that's why I don't go to church anymore. So I decided to start doing church in my house. And I will be doing all. That's an excuse. You begin doing the church in your house. But you will never fulfill it. You always do it one day. And then perhaps next month, and then suddenly you aren't doing church at all, brother. It's a mistake to say that you love Jesus and you love the body. Because let me tell you something, the church is the body of Christ. When you don't love the body of Christ, it's just like telling your girlfriend, listen, baby, you have a, such a beautiful face, but I hate your body. I don't like your body, but I love your face. But I don't like your body, but I love your face. Come on, you got to make up your mind what you like. You have to love the whole thing. So when you say to Jesus, Lord Jesus, I love you, but I don't want to go to church. It's like saying, I love you, but I don't like your body. Is that good or that bad? That is bad. Now, I knew I knew wanted to say, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't go to church because you're full of hypocrites. Yes, we have a lot of hypocrites in the church. And sometimes I am one hypocrite myself. And I have to pray to the Lord to take all the hypocrisy from me. You know, because everybody who sins is a hypocrite. Do you sin? So you are a hypocrite too. Okay. Now, you come to church so you can be encouraged. Huh? So your body will be full of the Holy Ghost. Your mind full of the things of the Lord. And it will give you a, a energy for you to roll on the whole week. 
Of course, you got to refill it in, in your house by praying, by doing private prayer to the Lord and giving time to the Lord. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of the other things shall be added to you. That's in Matthew 6. When you seek first the kingdom of God, your life will be having joy and peace and harmony, you know. And it's true. Of course you will have problems too. There's always problems in life. I'm not telling you a uh, gospel problem free because it's not true. Jesus says that you will have persecution too, but you will have a lot of joy and, and you'll have the peace of the Lord in your heart. You know, the most important thing in our life is the peace of the Lord. If you don't have that peace, there's nothing in the world that will make it for that. When you have the joy of the Lord in your heart, you feel more than a conqueror because you are more than a conqueror. Now, buddy, do not, go to, do, do not stop going to church because you don't feel like going to church. Because, you know what? Even if you feel like going to church, or if you don't feel like going to church, you have to go to church. Because faith is not by feelings. Faith, faith is by obedience. When you obey the Lord, you are showing to God that you have faith in Him because you believe Him. You don't obey the Lord, you are in rebellion. Course is coming to your life. My brother, I don't want you to be coarse by yourself, by 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 what your own attitude. I want you to be blessed. My name is Dario Salas Jr. My phone number is 214-574-9873. I'm in the region of Dallas, Texas. And also you can catch me on DarioSalasJr.com or you can go to the Facebook and look for me. God bless you. Bye-bye.